and bringing grief to Pittsburgh. The tragedy also resonated with a lot of people locally. Christina Shell, who checked in with our Jewish community and brings us their reaction. For many people in the local community, the shooting in Pittsburgh really hit home. I spoke to a local rabbi who tells me that the Jewish community is trying to keep its head high, but they're also looking to move forward quickly when it comes to increasing safety measures. We took the Torah out of the ark, and we usually do a procession with the Torah through the congregation. As I'm coming through, people are showing me their cell phones. Cell phones flooding with headlines and images following the chaos in Pittsburgh. Complaint says they have an active shooter in the building. A second call says they uh, are being attacked. Rabbi Kaplan and his congregants finished their service, even adding an extra prayer at the end. Since we knew that the folks in Pittsburgh were not going to be finishing their service, we wanted to do that part of the service especially. But it wasn't long before reality set in. The thought of that piece of that sanctuary being broken uh, by, uh, by gunfire, by someone who was just uh, filled with hate. With this shooting taking place in the state of Pennsylvania, it's a thought that's tough to forget. If it could happen in our own state, you know, it could, it could literally happen anywhere. Rabbi Kaplan says while it was already a topic of conversation, this incident has already brought local synagogue security to the forefront. We have been talking for years about security and not only talking about it, we've been doing something about it. But there's still plenty of work to be done and done quickly. Obviously this pushes things uh, closer and, and before next week we will uh, have to have more measures in place. Until then, it's faith that will drive them forward. In every generation, someone has risen to destroy us. And in each generation, God has been there to protect us. In Wilkes-Barre, Christina Shalhoop, Eyewitness News. Tomorrow, the Jewish Community Center on South River Street in Wilkes-Barre will be holding a vigil in honor of those affected by the shooting. It starts at 6.30 p.m., and everyone is invited to attend.